Halloween is just around the corner and you know what that means. Being socially bullied into attending a fancy dress party full of people you've never met. And you know what everyone else is gonna dress up as. Zombie. Sexy zombie. Vampire. Sexy vampire. Jason Voorhees. Sexy Jason Voorhees. So why not do something completely different? Why not dress up like a video game character that nobody else at the party will recognize? I mean, if you're gonna go through the sickening process of making small talk with somebody ironically dressed as Bill Cosby, you might as well look like a total prick while doing it. Take it from me, a loser who dressed up like a Half-Life 2 zombie back in 2008. Hell yeah, I went home alone at the end of that night. But you'd be surprised how warm, soft, and inviting that mask was by the time I stumbled into my bedroom at 4 a.m. But yeah, anyway, here are my top dope-ass picks for Halloween costumes for gamers in 2015. You're welcome. Number 5, Gary from Vault 108. The Vault Dweller is a popular gamer Halloween costume for a number of reasons. Number 1, it's comfortable. You're basically wearing a fucking onesie for the night. Number 2, it's cheap. Again, you're basically wearing one piece of clothing. And number three, every time you slam a bottle of beer, you're actually making money. But I can do you one better than just a generic vault dweller who's expected to be able to talk and socialize and generally be normal. You can be Gary from Vault 108. Gary? You see, Gary in Vault 108 was a product of a cloning experiment gone wrong. So there are dozens of him, and he's only able to say one word, his name. Gary! So anytime anyone talks to you at the party, just be like Gary. Okay, here, let's practice. Oh, hi, what's your name? Gary? That's a nice shade of blue. What are you dressed as? Gary? Hmm? Oh, okay. What's Gary from? Gary! Oh, I've... I've never watched Gary. Uh, okay, uh, nice to meet you. I'll see you around the party. Gary! 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 Okay, uh, see you later. Gary! Stay away Gary, from me! Gary! Gary! <laughs> Number four, EA cover athlete. So, who's your favorite EA sports superstar? Do you want fame like Patrick Kane? Are you DTF for ODB? You want to slam some shots down as Alex Morgan? However it is, EA supplies one of the simplest video game Halloween costumes every single year. You probably already own shorts, socks, and a jersey, right? Make sure you stick on some cleats and you're good to go. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Danny, I'm just dressing up like a sports star. This isn't video games. So here's the kicker, just buy yourself a pack of cards and spend the entire night trying to sell them to everyone else at the party for five dollars. Perfect, you're now an EA game. Peter Moore would be proud. Number three, quiet. Say what you want about Hideo Kojima's sophomoric depiction of women in Metal Gear Solid 5, but he supplied gamers with one of the most cost-effective Halloween costumes of all time. Most of the shit you need to look like quiet you probably already own. Black bra, tights, pair of gloves. If you don't have combat boots, it costs you about $20 on Amazon. Then just duct tape your left arm, do a real shitty mascara job, and you're good to go. And here's the best part. Quiet doesn't speak. So you don't even have to talk to any of the creepy weirdos at the party. Just sit in the corner humming to yourself and slamming Jaeger bombs. Or better yet, to be completely safe, watch the party unfold from a tactical vantage point half a kilometer away. In fact, if you live close enough to the party, you can just stay at home and play the Phantom Pain instead. Number two, Johnny from The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 has some great costumes, but most of them involve a level of investment that's getting into hardcore LARPer territory. And Halloween is all about throwing together some shit at the last minute, which is why Johnny from The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is perfect for those who just want to show off the love of CD Projekt's world without having to browse Amazon for cod pieces. Just throw a red scarf around your neck, use a rag as a pair of pants, paint yourself blue, and you're done. Plus, Johnny doesn't talk for most of the game, so you could just use the quiet trick here and not bother speaking to anyone. Or just put on an over-the-top English accent, and whenever anyone asks you any questions, just talk about how you like to take shits at sunrise. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Number one, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Okay, bear with me on this one. Dressing up as a skateboarder, easy, right? Stick on some DCs, a band shirt, and take a loan of your friend's deck, done. The trick is making sure people know you're actually dressed up as the game. So here's what you do. First of all, it's important that you are super boring, just tedious as all hell. Talk to people, but don't really look at them in the eyes or ask them any questions. Just talk about how you're feeling and never finish a sentence. Just trail off and then stare at their feet. Be boring, okay? Got it. Next, you're going to want to fall over unrealistically at pretty steady intervals. Find something in the environment, say like a chair or a table or another guest. Walk into it and just collapse. Lose all control of your body. Remain lifeless on the ground for like two or three seconds. Maybe try and fall through the environment a bit. And then stand up as if nothing happened. Walk away and then do it again a couple of minutes later. Okay, lastly, and this is key, you're gonna wanna leave the party and visit another one 
at least every few minutes. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 is a game where you're constantly dropping in and out of online lobbies for no discernible reason. So make sure you RSVP to at least half a dozen parties in the same part of town. Spend time at one party and then, without caution, just run out the door and into the next party. Just keep rotating every few minutes. The moment it seems like you're feeling comfortable in one place, just book it out the door and go to the next one. Make sure it constantly interrupts the flow of your evening. Oh, and make sure you ask everyone at the party to give you $60, even though you're a tedious flake who looks like shit and disconnects every few minutes. And that's the top 5 Halloween costumes for gamers in 2015. If you have any suggestions of your own, please put them in the comment box below, or tweet me at Danny O'Dwyer. See you next year, spooky gamers. Ooh.